All right, y'all, welcome back. It's uh, Tuesday, April 30th, and we are back at it again. So, uh, I got a dispatch order this morning, and I'm picking up from Home Depot. Yes, dispatch is on Home Depot. So this order, I got it yesterday. The time to pick up is seven in the morning. Is uh, I'm sorry, I left my house at seven in the morning. So this is why I do not like working early in the morning uh, during school and work uh, commute. This is why, because this Home Depot is 13 miles from my house. You know how long it took me to get here? 57 minutes. It's eight. It's past eight o'clock, and I'm just now getting here. 13 miles, 57 minutes. Absolutely ridiculous. So this is why I don't like working early in the morning. Um, I like to start like after traffic, after uh, school traffic is done, which is like around 8:30, 9 o'clock. So, anyways. Uh, so it's, uh, I think it's it's not that big of an order. I think I'm picking up paint and uh, the drive is two miles. I'm driving two miles. So that's gonna be our first order. And then I also have another pre-scheduled job with Dolly. So, oh man, it took me a whole hour to get here. I'm still like, it was literally, not only the traffic, there's construction on the roads, there's one lane highways, there's a million school buses. They all got their stop signs on, so you got to stop every five minutes. It's just, I don't know how people do this every morning. I don't know how I, well, actually, I did it because I, my old job, I used to leave way before I was supposed to be there. I was supposed to be there at 8. I'll leave my house at like 6.30. I'll just get to work early uh, just to avoid the traffic, but it's horrible. So anyways, I'm about to pick up right here. Home Depot, baby. All right, y'all. Finally got the paint. It took a while, about 15 minutes. Um, so, <laughs> dispatch, they used to give you the, the like if it's ASAP or standard, like the window. So I got here at eight o'clock because that's what the app told me. It said, get here at eight o'clock. They weren't expecting me to be here till nine. So like, they're like rushing, trying to get this order for me. Um, I wish dispatch would stop doing that. Like, if the wind, just give us the window. Like, pick up between, you know, seven and nine or whatever. So, <laughs> I don't know. I don't understand that. I don't understand that. It is what it is. So, it took a while to get this order because of that. But we are driving two miles. And uh, apparently there's three orders, three separate orders. So this is part one. I don't know who's picking up the other two orders. I tell you, I could pick up all of them, but it might be on a, on a different app. I don't know. That's what they were saying though. Two more orders. After this order and the other one, I have a dolly. I'll be over a hundred dollars. And it's, I mean, I just started. It's eight o'clock, this is my first job. Uh, the other job's at 10, so. The gig life, man, I love it. Alright y'all, we're gonna tie this down and go get this money. Let's go. Alright y'all, we're just driving 2.6 miles. There's one of the million uh school buses out here. So uh while I'm going, let me let you guys know this is some great information that I <laughs> well I kind of knew this, but it's good to hear it from Sherwin Williams. So I did a Sherman Williams order, which I'm gonna go over a couple updates later on. But um, I talked to the to the manager at that Sherman Williams, and uh, oh y'all see my new earpiece? I got a new earpiece. Somebody was telling me get one of those big ones that the the big rig drivers be wearing. I ain't getting that, bro. This this I actually don't really like this, 
but this uh, Bluetooth had great ratings uh, and it works really good. I like it. I got it off Amazon. I told you I get everything off Amazon. So anyways, uh, I was talking to the manager and uh, he, want, he wants to make sure everyone knows that when you pick up paint, um, you have to have a BOL. So don't leave without it. I've done that before. I've been in a hurry and they be taking forever. They give you the paint and you just take off. Don't do that. You have to have a BOL. Um, that for, I can only speak for Texas, Texas law, and I looked it up, you have to have a BOL. Uh, if you get pulled over and you're hauling paint and you don't have a BOL, um, you're gonna get in a lot of trouble. So uh, just make sure you have it. Um, I can only speak for Texas. I don't know about other states, but I'm sure there's some states similar to that. Uh, if you get in a crash and that paint goes flying, uh, they need to know what it is, what you're hauling. And it's on the BOL. Everything they need to know is on the BOL. So just remember that. I've done a couple loads where I didn't get a BOL or they forgot to give it to me or whatever. Don't take off without it. Just want to let you guys know that. All right, y'all, I'm here at the location. It's this uh, building right behind me. Uh, I knocked on the door, nobody answered. Um, the guy sending somebody over, said he'll be here in five minutes. He thought somebody was gonna call him 20 minutes prior and uh, I was there, like Home Depot called him. I heard him on the phone. They called him and said the driver's on the way. So I don't know why he's playing games, but whatever. Anyway, we're gonna get this dropped and then uh, I don't think I'm gonna have time to do another order. My pickup with Dolly's at 10 is 8.39, so. We'll see. Hopefully I can get something in this area and uh, maybe sneak one more in real quick. Morning, yeah, sir. No. Is the paint going in here? Yeah. Okay, let me grab my dolly. told us to pick up at eight o'clock, but uh, Home Depot was saying we're supposed to be there at nine, so I don't know. Oh. I don't know what the confusion was. <clears throat> mm. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. I'll do six at a time. Okay, yes sir. So how many different holes you got? Uh, it's got eight, it is eight of, I, I don't remember the kind, I have the paperwork. Oh. Okay. It's eight and six of the other one. Then you just stack over the Let me see. They're the same. I think these are all the same. You want to double stack them or just? Maybe triple stack them. That's good? Okay. Probably one more trip. Got three more left.
Yeah, these all say the same too. I don't know what the difference is. <clears throat> I know there's three more, two more orders coming though. I don't know, is it a different location or are they all coming here? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Gotcha. All right, y'all. I'm done. I am sweating like crazy. And it's 9 o'clock. The sun ain't even out yet. It's cloudy outside. Overcast. It's crazy, man. It's the end of April. And it feels like the middle of July. This summer ain't gonna be no joke. It's crazy. So, anyways, it's... uh. Almost nine o'clock. Like I said, I got my dolly at 10. Um, it's probably about a 15 minute drive from where I'm at. So I'm gonna look on roadie map. If it's something I could do really fast, even a CVS order, whatever, I'll do it, but probably not. I'm just gonna start a uh, slow roll into my dolly. So uh, this is kind of like, kind of hood area, little project kind of looking area. It has been so much activity over here. Like I've been here, they go fire truck. I've been here probably about 15, almost 20 minutes, and I've seen about eight police cars going that way and this way. Now it's a fire truck. I've seen an ambulance. Uh, it, it's just, this area is busy, man. <laughs> I already know what goes on over here. There are a couple hood areas of uh, San Antonio, but um, nothing like what I'm used to. So, yeah, this is, this is a interesting area all right y'all again so this is why this is why roadie is great a great app to have so i had that little hour in between uh this order and my dolly and look at the map this is where i'm at i'm right next to a cvs order uh 0.4 miles away so i'm actually pulling up to it now i just literally turned on one street and i'm about to turn and this is the uh, cvs right here on the corner so it's only seven dollars but i mean i mean why not <laughs> seven dollars is seven dollars like that's just extra money and i'm not driving nowhere it's the delivery's right down the street all right y'all easy man easy money i'd rather do this than just sit you know just drive to my uh dolly all right y'all so just picked it up literally took two minutes two minutes grabbed it that's the bag and i'm driving 0.5 miles 0.5 miles six minutes away so it's right down the street all right y'all i'm pulling up to the customer's house uh i'm not going to record it i've been doing roadie wrong for a long time somebody on my channel corrected me i was dropping these orders off when i first started roadie i was leaving these at the door you cannot do that <laughs> um you have to hand it to an adult. It has to be an adult present, and if nobody, if there's no adult present, you have to take it back to the store, which is not a bad thing because you'll get paid double. But um, anyways, I know how to do it now. <laughs> Plus, they have a training. You got to take a little training uh, video, uh, answer a couple questions to make sure you know what you're doing. So, all right, y'all, let me drop this off real quick. This literally, this job took five minutes. So extra seven dollars, five minutes. I'll take it all day. All right, y'all, we are done. And uh, there's actually another one, a CVS at the same one I just went to, but I'm not gonna do it. It's uh, 917, I'm about 15 minutes away from Dolly. So I'm gonna just start heading over there. But again, that's just another example, man. Like if I had like two hours of time, I could probably do about three or four CVSs. And like, don't do one at a time. Like just put in for all of them. Cause you might get all of them and you'll, you'll do four. It'll route you automatically. So roadie, the pay sucks, but it could definitely help you during the dead period. There's nothing going on. Do something. All right, y'all. So just real quick, <clears throat> I'm at the uh, container store. I got like 10 minutes. So I'm just going to update you real quick. I'm going to try to make this as quick as possible. Cause I, I did a lot of jobs gig apps and with my company but if i go over every last one of them this video is going to be over an hour so just i'm gonna highlight some of the good jobs i did so on the 25th april 25th i did a task rabbit job and that job was uh a refrigerator so i used my ramp and um i'm telling you man that ramp is a game changer and i did a video like a review on it uh my last video i posted i love that ramp 
it, it just makes loading and unloading super easy, uh, especially with refrigerators. So um, that job, uh, I do have to confirm with the customer if, how, the height of the refrigerator because I can't take anything that's taller than 72 inches or 73, something like that. So anyway, this one was 70 inches, so it fit perfect. Um, my wife helped me with it. Um, it was a short drive. I think it was like 10 miles. I moved it from the customer's house. She was taking it to her mom's house. Uh, all single story, no stairs, nothing like that. So um, my chart, I, I told you guys, I kind of have a flat rate of either $65 or $75, depending on what it is. Refrigerator is going to be $75. As long as I'm driving 20 miles or less, it's going to be around that price, about $75. That's kind of like my flat rate. So that was my charge, $75. The customer actually gave me a tip. She was trying to tip me on TaskRabbit and it would not let her tip a certain, it caps off at a certain amount. I don't know why that is, but that's stupid. So anyways, she ended up tipping me on my Venmo account. Uh, it was a $50 tip, but I only got $48.95 uh, because of the fees. They charge fees. So um, I don't recommend using Venmo. Uh, try to use Zelle. Zelle is the best app to use to get paid for your business, but I'll talk about that another time. I also did a job on April 28th. Uh, that job was also a task rabbit job. And I'm trying to remember what I charged. It was either 65 or $75. I can't remember, but it was two pieces of furniture, super short drive, easy, uh, load, unload, all single story. Um, so I don't remember what I charged, but I'll put it on the screen. Uh, so I did that job on the 28th. Um, I want you guys to know that, um, so I skipped the 27th. So the 27th, I had two loads with my carrier company. So my carrier company, I have two of them. I have not shared who they are. I did that for a reason. Um, I kind of stopped talking about them because people were complaining. <laughs> like they want me to give up all my, you know, the stuff I worked hard to find. I'm not doing it. Uh, so I don't really talk about it much, but I want you guys to know that I do a lot of work in the evening. And a lot of these loads with my carrier company is later in the evening, five o'clock, six o'clock. I got two loads on the 27th. Uh, the first one paid $110. The second one was $120. And a lot of these loads are like the same stuff we're doing, picking up from Home Depot, Lowe's, uh, Big Lots, all these different little stores picking up furniture, plywood, stuff like that. That's the pay. Uh, I get paid way better than the gig apps on those. So I don't tell you guys about those all the time, but just know that that's what I'm doing on the side, off camera. So um, this is why my earnings have been uh, 2,000 or more per week for like four weeks straight now. So it's busy right now, business is good, but there is gonna be a slow period and I'm referring to the gig apps. And that's why I am building my clients so that during the slow time, I can stay busy with my own company, my own website, um, you know, customers. I did a job last night. So last, last night I did, I went to a customer, returning customer for the fourth time. Um, it's the same customer I showed you guys. She, I picked up her washer and dryer from her storage unit. She gave me the key. She didn't even go with me. Um, so she did some remodeling in her home uh they're pretty much done uh they just have like one more room to do so i helped her yesterday me and my wife helped her bring some of the furniture back in the house single story house i used my ramp so everything went on a dolly just rolled it in dresser bed all that stuff super easy job um that one i charged i only charged a hundred dollars uh because it was one hour it was actually an hour and about 15 minutes so i charged a hundred dollars and uh that's that's her price. That's not my regular price for that, but that's her price because she's a returning customer. Um, she's got me on speed dial. So uh, customers like that, you wanna hang on to and take care of them. So uh, I forgot to take photos. I, I just took photos of um, what the pod looked like. She has a pod in her driveway and uh, all the furniture's in there. So this is all that's left. Some clothes and like two more pieces of furniture and everything else is boxes. So I don't even, I'm thinking I don't even need my wife, but my wife's probably gonna come with me anyways, just to help me. Um, and the charge is probably gonna be about the same, about a hundred dollars. We could do this. We can empty this pod in about 30 to 40 minutes. So um, I'll be helping her this week. Uh, I think Tuesday, Tuesday of next week. 
Um, that's pretty much it, man. I have a lot more jobs, but I don't want this to be too long. I just want you to know that there's a lot of consistency now in this work. Um, I think I'm doing it right. By starting my own website and building my own clients, I told you guys I wanted to transition from gig apps. You know, I'm relying on gig apps more than, you know, any anything else. It's like rotating now. I'm starting to do more uh, task rabbit and direct bookings than gig apps gig apps I want to be like a backup. So I don't have anything on my calendar for my company Let's do some gig apps make some money. That's kind of how I want it to be. I think I did it right That's the smart way to do it, but I'll talk about that later another time But anyways, just keeping y'all up to date man killing it out here killing it All right, so pulling up to the uh, container store. I just want you guys to look at this uh Look at this ad. This is on CB Driver. What's up, brother? Taking all my orders, man. <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm on everything. <laughs> yes, sir. I said, you come here, Andy. Huh? You come here, Andy. Yeah. How you doing? I'm blessed. Thank oh, that's good, man. Good, 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 good. You want to know what you did? Was it? No, no. Yeah, yeah just, just, just me. I know you just got it. <laughs> okay. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it comes, it comes in, Andy. Yeah. I don't know. I, I don't know which one to choose, though. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, I get all those that. So that's the three items. So I said, mm, okay, that means first time I, I started doing it. Yeah. That's the three items. I saw the three items. A lot of stuff. Oh, really big? Oh, a yeah, lot of stuff? Yeah. I don't even know what I'm picking up. Yeah. <laughs> it just said one item. Yeah. yeah. I just. You realize that the dollar prices, especially the best buy, you know, uh -huh. the prices are going down. Right, you know? yep. Sanchez. Yes, sir. That's his or mine? Oh, this is mine? Oh, okay. Sanchez? Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be four of these carts. Oh, okay. What is it like a show? Yeah, those are all. Shell. Oh, okay. They got a big order. You said it's four more of these? Yeah, four carts. Oh, dang. Oh, okay. It's not all the same stuff, but. Okay. It's something more. The rest of it's like boxes and stuff. Okay, cool. <clears throat> all right, y'all. We done. Loaded up. Just loaded from here. It was four carts, y'all. Four carts. Look at all this. It's nothing like heavy, but my goodness. Look at this. All this. My goodness. And you know what the app said? This joint say, look at this. Custom closet. That joint say one item. One item. So I will be taking a photo of this. I'm gonna send this to uh, Dolly and see if they can increase this pay. Cause this is ridiculous. Look at all this stuff. This is not one item. All right, y'all. So I just sent an email to uh, Dolly Support. Um, I'm gonna see if they're gonna increase my pay cause this is not one item. I don't know how they do it. Um, I, I don't understand how you get one item out of all this. Uh, I understand it comes in pieces, but this is not, that's not even one like 
um, shelf. Like, that's multiple shelves. So, it's not one item. So, anyways, I'm going to see what they say. Uh, I'm not going to make a big stink about it. The pay is still good. I'm driving uh, 13 miles. But, I mean, come on, man. So, before I go, I just want you guys to look at this, um, this offer I got. And I told you guys a while back on a video to constantly check Indeed. Uh, if you check Indeed and you don't see any jobs you're interested in, check it again the next day and the next day or every week uh, because it updates all the time um cb driver if you're looking for a contract route cb driver is the place to go so i almost got a box truck and i was looking at contracts and i signed up to get alerts on box truck contracts in my area through cb driver well this is an offer right here the pay is six hundred dollars six hundred dollars a day um this is the type of stuff that's out here and it's available. So it's no excuses. Like people that make excuses, there is none. At least I can only speak for my market. If I if I ended up buying that box truck, uh, that's what I'd be looking for. I'd be looking to do some type of box truck contract because of the expenses. The expenses is gonna be a lot higher than this, this van and I'm gonna need consistent money. Like I can't afford to be not getting work through the gig apps. So I just wanna let you guys know, man, cb driver a great place to look for contracts sign up to get alerts because they i get alerts every week every single week i'm getting alerts on jobs so just want to pass that on no excuse man no excuse all right y'all getting close to my uh drop off um this is a really really nice rich area <laughs> of uh, san antonio chavano park um, I'm hoping I don't need a gate code to get in this community because a lot of these are gated communities. Um, that guy that I that I uh, met while I was picking up, um, he's an OG out here. It's him and his wife, and I don't know his age. I don't even remember his name, but he, uh, if I had to guess, I would say he's at least 60 something years old and he he picks up he works in that uh, he's got a pickup truck it's a little beat up but it works and he does a lot of dollies uh, a lot of refrigerators with him and his wife a husband and wife team so that's not uncommon out here there's quite a few husband and wife teams that i've met out here and um huge huge respect to him man he'd be out here hustling uh I, I run into him all the time so that's how i know he i'm always i'm everywhere there's a real good chance you're gonna see me somewhere because I'm always out here, but he's the same way. He's out here all the time. So anyways, uh, pulling up to the drop off. Um, looks like I don't need a gate code. I'm actually on this street and I don't know how much I'm gonna record because this is a lot of stuff to unload. It's probably gonna take me about 15, 20 minutes to get all this stuff out depending on where they want it. Hopefully it's just going in the garage, but we'll see. Play it by ear. But this is probably gonna be my this is not gonna be my last order. It's gonna be my last order for this video. Uh just to kind of control the length of the video. But you get the idea. I'm out here hustling and uh I'm gonna see what else I could do. Probably work till about three o'clock today. Alright, y'all. So uh this is the customer's house behind me. I'm probably gonna switch to time lapse. I'm just gonna show a little bit of the unload, but they want me to put everything in the garage as expected. So uh, I'm gonna use my hand cart and just move it. As best we can. All right, so take the bags first, but I'm gonna switch to time lapse in just a second. But I'm just showing you how far I'm walking. Uh, it's gonna be a pretty quick, easy unload once I start putting this stuff on my dolly. Very nice home, though. It's the rich folk area. I'm actually going to lay this flat. I'm going to put my gloves on. I 
these hardy gloves is the business, y'all. Like these. Alright. Somebody got a heck of a project putting all this together. Probably not that hard though. It's gonna be time consuming. Take a couple trips, but be pretty quick. All right, y'all, switch the time lapse. So I'm pretty much done. Uh, this is gonna be my last load. I don't know how many trips I took. I think like three or four. So that dolly right there really comes in handy, man. I stacked a lot on there and I made it really easy. So uh, easy work. It's not hard work. It's just I'm sweating because it's uh, it feels like 100 degrees out here. So anyways, this is gonna be my last load. Actually, I probably have to carry these by hand because they're a little too long. But I'm gonna put the rest of these on my dolly and then just carry these in, and we're done. Um, the lady I'm helping, she is a army veteran, retired, her and her husband. So I gave her a high five. I like my army vets. But um, we were just talking about how a lot of the young people, um, they don't realize how great, how, what an opportunity it is to join the military. Like you can make so much, uh, you can make such a better life for yourself, uh, just that one decision. Um, whether you do four years, eight years, whatever you do, I mean, it's an eight year obligation, but you could do, you know, three or four years, get out and start your career. And, uh, it's the best decision I ever made, man. I'm living the benefits that I get, that I get from the military, not just the discounts and all that stuff, but I mean, just buying a house, the VA loan and going to school for free. Um, it's just, it's so many programs to help veterans. Uh, I highly recommend that. If you don't know what you're doing with your life, you're still relatively young, uh, you will not regret joining the military. All the benefits that you can get at the end, they're lifelong. So just something to think about.
Oh, so just so you know, I talked to Dolly. They responded back. They said it's still one item. Uh, it's just multiple pieces. So I think that's some bull crap, but it is what it is. So no extra compensation. And um, I wish they would at least send you a photo. They don't even send you a photo. They used to send you photos of what it was, but they should require the customer to take a picture of what it is. It is what it is. A few moments later. All right, y'all, I'm sweating like crazy. They think I was working hard. I wasn't working hard because I was using my dolly, so it's not hard work. It's just hot and humid. But I'm glad I sweat a lot because they felt bad. They was offering me water and all kind of stuff. And I like these rich areas, man, because they like the tip. So they gave me $30, $30 tip. All right, man, uh, let me uh, clean up real quick and I'll bring this video to an end. All right, y'all, so uh, it's 11.07. Um, I'm about to keep working. I missed a freight order and another dispatch order. I think while I was talking to them, the orders came out, I missed it, but it's still pretty busy. So I'm gonna keep working. Uh, I'm at around $150 already, just those two orders. So um, I'll definitely make over 200. I really, I think if I get one more order, I'll be over 200. So anyways, I'm gonna end it here though, just for the link of the video. Um, my next, next week, I'm shooting for next Friday. I'll be uh, talking about my other business um, I've been working on. I haven't had time to work on it, but um, I'm just gonna give you the general uh, information about it. And then anyone that's interested in it, cause it's something you could do too. I'll be elaborating on it on my Rumble page. So um, other than that, man, I'm about to go uh, get me a Gatorade from QT and we're gonna keep working till about three. And uh, man, out here getting it. So that's it, man. Y'all have a great one and I will catch y'all on the next one.